happy local yard shop day. Yay. We have Alicia. Alicia, this is this is the fifth is time it? that you've done this for us. Wow. The fifth time. Yeah. <laughs> you started with us during the pandemic. The yeah. doors were closed. We couldn't even sit this close together because no, we I didn't remember. know we were in the mess. Like in weird situations. Yeah. I thought about that. Wow. The fifth year. So we're so excited that you guys are watching and tuning in, and some of you will watch the recording later. Um, I don't want to mess the camera up just yet, but I'm going to give you a spin around. You would not believe how much beautiful yarn we have here. Alicia didn't even know how much we had because we've been getting it in batches yeah. over the last few weeks. Today's the first time I've seen it in its entirety. All at once, all laid out. Madeline's done a beautiful job laying it out and it, organizing it. Yes, it's, it looks incredible. It is, it is a knitwise store right now. <laughs> and samples, um, so we're going to show you some of those too. The first thing we're going to start off with is the uh, pears. So that's what's been a tradition that Alicia has started us off with. The Casapinka every year has a free two skein pattern. This year it is the uh, local, she's changed the name of it, uh, LYS Cowl or Local Yarn Cowl, either one. And when you buy two skeins of fingering, um, you, including these pairs, you get this um, pattern for free. And we'll send you the codes for that at the end of the day. Um, and Sherry, we are loving being your local yarn shop, even though you're in South Carolina. So thank you. <laughs> but in addition, so we're going to show you these pairs in just a moment. In addition to the lovely Casapinka, who does so much to support local yarn shops, and this uses two skeins of fingering, we also like to highlight two other uh, pattern designers. And so we have a crochet and a knit pattern. These are linked on our uh, collection there for Local Yarn Shop Day that we like to highlight. So this is uh, Lana Joy's uh, Itagi shawl and this pattern is lovely. We like to highlight um, in this case both of these are black designers and this crochet one is the Orchid Path shawl that you could use with what we're about to show you. These are two dollars for you and we're underwriting the rest of it. We um, didn't make them free because we didn't want to devalue their work. So it's $2 for you, but we're um, contacted the customer, I mean the designers already, and told them what we're doing so that they didn't think that we were devaluing their work and wanted to make sure they knew we were getting, they were getting the rest of their um, uh, uh, fee. But these are beautiful patterns. You can put them in your cart right there on the local yarn shop day, and that way we'll make sure you get the codes for those too. So. Um, Alicia, yes. how, before we look at that, you have a full-time job. Yes. I'm the Wait. creative director for, at Florida State University Division of Student Affairs. Yes. Creative director. So I would come home and then yeah, that, If you see like, my, my fingers, don't judge. They're, they're the eye fingers. So. so is that when you do it? Is it the end of every day? Or? Correct. I would come home. Um, I have a little setup in my garage with a TV, so I would just put on some random Netflix show and die until I met my quota for that evening <laughs> <laughs> and go to bed and okay. do it all again the next day. All right, and you recently won an award at work too. Well, our office Your team won did, it, yeah. but still. Yeah, yeah. What's the, what is it? We won the, I think it's called the, the Torch Team Award for working together as a team and, and promoting all the division's great work, which is what we are, what we love to do. It's so fun. I mean, Alicia works in the very building yeah. that I worked in <laughs> before I left. Like, you were at TCC, and I actually didn't know you then. Right. So, yeah. it's just like a yeah, really interesting it's circle. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's look at some yarn, and we'll talk to Alicia in the meet. Right, let's see. This is actually heavier than I, can, than I thought here. All right, let's see. All right, so we've paired these. Uh, this is number one. Uh, well, actually, we didn't pair them. Alicia paired them. So we have the designer pairing. I did. This is number one. And so each one I'm showing you, we have three sets. So um, this one is number one and it's 1969 and Love Rocks. That is a perfect pairing. Look yeah. at those. So any two skein shawl, we have lots of links of other two skein shawls at uh, this product there as well. It's a nice so, bright vibrant yeah. pair. I love we'll that. It off. All right, so let's see. The purple people. <laughs> 
like uh, like Brittany. Brittany's a purple person. Yeah. All right, this one might be good for Seminoles. These two here. Yeah. This is oh, number simple. This is number two. This is it's like almondine and bless your heart. Yeah, I really love this bless your heart with those little speckles in it yeah. and stuff like that. Simple. Is that so, almondine right here behind it? It is. This in is the almondine. Yeah, but yeah. I did a color work something with those two, and it's. I really loved it, which is why I paired it, obviously, for you guys for OIS Day. Well, we'll have to find it. Yeah. We have so many samples right now. So this is number two, and again, we've got three each of these. Um, okay, here's, and, we, and if you're if you're pacing yourselves, we have like, I'm gonna say like 36 maybe of them. Yeah. And these are the floofy fingering, I should say that as well. And when we get into the higher numbers, we have the uh, uh, squish silk. Squish silk. Mm -hmm. So this is a subtle, more subtle one. Uh, Undead Girlfriend and Amethyst Mist, again, for my purple people. So that'll give you a nice pop of green, the yeah. chartreuse, yeah. and the gray. Zach got a chartreuse shirt on just for that reason. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I, use it in the I like places. this subtle version. I did, um, this is Hug Shot that I did one year in your pairs, and it was a subtle, difference yeah. you know so it's, it's really not pretty. as dramatic as mm -hmm. some of the others but I really liked and I think this would be similar yes beautiful. for sure and that too throw this stuff over there uh the floofy fingering has 437 yards 85 percent superwash merino and 15 percent nylon and it's very floofy it is there's so let me also just say that about Alicia's bases right now we're showing you the floofy fingering I mean we have a we have a lot of lovely yarn in the shop, but at least Alicia's bases, why is that hard to say, <laughs> um, are unlike others that, that we have in the store. This You do a really good job of sourcing. Yes, I, I try to find really quality, um, friendly yarns, uh, cruelty free, that are, I was, I'm very te textile, so that feel lovely and that knit lovely um, and that you just enjoy from start to finish and beyond. And, this and you, and you, you do that. The basis that I have you. Yeah, um, yeah cuz even though we have the different yarns, sometimes some dyers and this is fine have um, you you can tell that that's the same base. Right. They dye it in a different way. It's lovely, right. it's beautiful, but yours different, totally different bases. Yeah, yeah. it's like you got your own mill secret <laughs> mill somewhere. Okay, look at this. Yes. We got a purple group going so, here. So, yeah, another dimension, another dimension and you jump, I jump. Um, really, that's high contrast. This is number there. four. Really pretty. I've got the numbers on backwards for us so that they're forwards for you. Um, Look at everything. Well, it, 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 it's driving the team here a little nuts. <laughs> so <laughs> they're like, why did you do that? I'm like, because reverse. you guys need to see it. Kit actually helped us figure that one out. Smart. All right, so that's number I four. I think we do need a bigger box. Um, let's see, I'll just be short each time. All right, this one here is number five. Yes. Oh, this is a really interesting, I like this group here. So this is a gold, one of a kind, and Aragog, which is the spider from um, Lord of the Rings. But it's got the little yeah, copper so bits in it there. It does, exactly. So it'll pair nicely. And it's close to blue and orange, which is a great complimentary color. Yeah. Um, one of my favorites, even though it belongs to a team that we won't mention. Oh, I went to school there. Did you? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I worked at FSU and have, I went to school at FSU longer than I went to the other school. There you so, go. There you have it. Yeah. I used to say, my kids, because Mike and I met, at oh, the other school. Did you? I didn't know. Oh, that's so And cool. so my kids grew up as gators. I don't know why they didn't go there, but the tr family tradition. But I used to say, FSU buys your groceries. That's true. So. Well, when you work <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I did. I mean, yeah. My yeah, they don't buy students' groceries. <laughs> that is a little misleading, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> All right, this is number six. And hey, we got Renee and Hi, Harriet. Renee. So this is a new color, um, Amazing Fruit. Oh, yeah. And it's, I wish you could, it's so juicy. So again, purple, which isn't my favorite color, but you'd never know if I had you know, no, to try it. Um, and again, it's so you've got the purple and then these these juicy fruit um, pops of color. So those will pair really well. Yeah, that's number six. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Six, this is seven. Okay, for the purple. Oh, yeah. We've got some earthy ones I can't wait to get to. And I've, I've done really well. None of us have shopped out of this ahead of time. <laughs> it was hard. <laughs> okay, this is number seven. 
at the bar and uh, read another one of a kind. I thought it would pair really well. So why is it a one of a kind? Why does it not have, does, do you have the recipe for this? I do. I could dye it again if people liked it, but um, And then it would get a different name, right? It would get a different yeah. name, yeah. It would be part of the, we'll talk about my dye book. Later, yeah, yeah. Recipe book. We are, we, I asked her to bring her recipe book, and so we'll look at that, but I want to show you all of these. First, okay, seven, eight. Oh. Yeah, so this now we're, good one. now we're venturing. It's so hard to pick. I have so many colors. <laughs> I don't know how you paired them up, how you had them all. So at home I have these paired up to, for future projects for myself. <laughs> so Wayfinder um, and Beach Glass. Oh, so a lovely <clears throat> coastal couple. Mm. So pretty. Yeah. And I do have... This would make a beautiful... Them. You could buy all three. You could buy just the bag, <laughs> not just the bag, but the bag, mm -hmm. and make a beautiful color work sweater. Oh, for sure. With that. Okay, this is nine. We just need you guys to just buy some of these and then they'll fit in my box. <laughs> All right, this is number nine. You see the number nine there? Okay. And thank you for all the well wishes for LYS Day. Oops, my number nine came off with the thing. All right, you hold those and tell them about this. Pearl those Jam ladies. and Berry Minty. Um, again, purples and an ice cream with pink and uh, green flex and there's also some green in the Pearl Jam to tie it together, but this is a really pretty combo. Very floral and springy. And then another beachy combo, this is 10. And I really like this one. Mm, the purple. Oh, I really didn't realize I am. Well, it probably switches when we switch the boxes. So Blooming Succulents. Um, really soft, pretty. You can see the pops of orange and yellow and just gorgeous. And then this is speckled, speckled, not stirred. You have to say it like Sean Connery. Um, with lovely blue pops. So this is a great color. I like all the different colors. I know. In there. The, it's really pretty. Um, I have we have single, samples. Yeah, we have single those. skeins of blue and flexible. Even bulky in that too. All right. Okay. And this is the last one for this box. Yay! Eleven. For our peach bands, I Coral Care Less and Blush. And again, I Coral Care Less has a bunch of variations in the color tones and some speckles paired with this really pretty solid. All right, Melissa's well, gonna swap us out here for a second. All right, there's that one. Oh, I got it. We have a choreographed dance here. Yeah. All right, while she's doing that, I'm wearing um, Stay High. And I'm wearing that in honor of the, this is the first pattern I ever wrote, and I wrote it in your yarn. Yeah. Because Alicia was the first yarn dyer that I had in my Good Vibes box. And I never wrote patterns before. It's it makes it sound like I've written a lot, maybe like six. <laughs> it's just been that long. But um, yeah, it was so fun to design a pattern in your yarn. <laughs> it was fun to, to dye. <laughs> All right, this one is number 12. So we are also, if you're keeping track at home, we are in, we have three and a third boxes and we're in our second box. Oh, the name of, this is Knitwise Fibers. So that is the brand, if you want to say that. How'd you come up with the name? Um, well, it's a knitting term and I loved owls. So I felt that it works the well wise together. Owls. Yeah, the Knitwise. Uh, it was a brand that I actually created when I was in school for graphic design as a project so yeah did you knit then i did knit i was okay. just starting to knit at that time um but i knew I, even then that i wanted to create a business but for the project it was knit, knitting accessories okay so when i started dying i was like oh yeah that, well, that happened. happened yeah all right this one i love this one this one is yeah. uh 12. See, I wanted to say it the other way. I'm not even going to say that loud, but yeah. It's okay. 12. Yeah. So, Charcoal and Brizo for the darker fans. So, how'd you here. come up with the name Brizo? Look at that Brizo. So, this is this my is naming really consultant, okay, a friend of mine. She named that one. I was like, I need a name for this. So, she did a bunch of research, and she told me what it meant, and I've forgotten. I think it's <laughs> like a Sprite or, or something. Well, we could Google it, right? Yeah. Let me know in the comments okay. what my name is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the worsted skeins 
Uh, we don't have a worsted weight right now. We've got, um, and you can see them all in our front page of our website, Fuzzy Goat. I got, we jumped right into the yarn, so sorry about that. FuzzyGoatYarns.com, right on the website. First little square there is LYS Day. And we have, so what I'm showing you now is our fingering pairs for the um, LYS patterns. And I, uh, but we have, and then later after we go through these, we'll show you some of the others. We have silk lace. Yes. Let's see if I can do it. Silk lace, squish lace. Silk lace, floofy fingering, squish silk, which is also a fingering, um, tweedy DK, floofy DK, and billowy bulky. Yes. Right. And we have some Surrey silk here too. Oh, yes. And some yes. Surrey silk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's floofy, um, I don't know here. What's the other one? It's the Alpaca. Yes. 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 So it's not, it's not as itchy for Correct. those like me that yes. are allergic. Floofier and softer. The first pattern that I mentioned is the LYS Stay pattern. Mary, this is the Casapinka, which is free, and we'll send you the codes at the end of the day when you buy any two skeins of fingering at, during local yarn shop day. So that was the first pattern. And what I'm wearing is my pattern called Stay High. It is great for uh, one skein of fingering, so it would be beautiful in the squ squish silk. It would. <laughs> or the, and this is knit in the floofy fingering. This one is number 13. And that one would knit similar to this sample. Oh, yeah. This brioche. So, isn't that pretty? Yeah, you and I both like brioche. Too. So, this is what it would look like. I don't know if you can see. This is Riot Kitty and California Poppy. Yeah, which I love California That just Poppy. looks so refreshing together. It's so much fun. And I, it's, it's really great pop of color when you need oh. something. Yeah. I know, right? A fun infusion. Yeah. All right, so that was number 13. Okay, so 14. Now we're getting into so more purples again. Yeah, but not but. This pair I particularly was coveting. Yes, I So this also is 14. Have this tagged at home for a project. Your sweet with again <laughs> all of the look at the flex and the different colors. It's just so pretty. And Care Bear Stare, which is just all the purples. Um, so this is a great combo. It does make me think of the Care Bears. Yeah. In my mind, I always imagine. <laughs> Do you just go with the first thing? Like sometimes I have a name, and sometimes I have to Google and come up with something. But do you ever like have a name, and then later like, oh, that's not quite it, and change it? Well, I want to, but I don't but feel that I can. Yeah. Oh, well, I meant before it goes on the label. Yes, yep. I have. I have changed. The name. This is number fifteen. This. Can you knit a summer tank with two skeins? Yes, you could. And we will um, show you some options. We will find you some. Um, Patty, if we don't answer you here, make sure you uh, text us at 229-236-GOAT and we'll come up with some. I've actually got a, a And what's the name of that brioche cow? Sue oh, wants to know. Of course. We'll get that to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I'm, it was a test knit I did for... Uh, Leslie? Yes. For Nick Graffiti. Um, and I, I'll have the, I don't have the name on it. Yeah. I don't remember the name, but I'll get it and we'll tell you. So this is a, another combo that I've done, another Leslie pattern in. It's charcoal and lovebird. It's so pretty together. I'll take a sample of this one. So, but great combo. I knit a, a brioche scarf in this. Let's see. Okay. Sometimes they come here before they go to the bagel store because they think we're the bagel store. Oh, right next door. that makes sense. But they also see us. We're up at the front of the store. So, all right, this is 16. This one is also one that I was really coveting. This is a great combo. So it's Nowhere, um, which is kind of like a galaxy space, and Crazy in Love, which is a, you know, a, a warm, fruity pink and a bunch of golden colors. So, I, again, I just knit another sample for um, a testament for Leslie in this colorway and it's stunning. It was a cowl of hers, spider web. And you met Leslie cowl. when we had her here. I did. We did. She was our first guest teacher. I, I was fangirling when she came. <laughs> I was so excited. Oh, here we go. 17. Oh, yes. I love this combo. So this is Kitty, which just is very Casapinka, and Ermagerd Sparkles, which is <laughs> just all the different colors of speckles. Um, and this bright pop of pink. So again, very Casapinka. And then 
this is 18 here. And like I said, we show you this bag. This is actually all we have of each of these. It's just three pairs. And the last one was 17. So now we're on 18. Uh, Silencio Bruno and Grassroots. I had a, a cabbage patch growing up that was <laughs> dressed in these colors. So this is kind of nostalgic for me. Um, the blues and the greens and the purples and the speckles. So love this combo. All right, this one here is 19. Yes, this is a good one. So this is Homosassa Sunset. Um, it's really pretty, the oranges and the pinks and the blues. And this is Riot Kitty, which is a more um, intense pink. It's more um, neon with a bunch of golden colors mixed in. So together, it's just it's like a sunset. That, yeah. yeah, it's like a sunset. That would just make you instantly happy. Like that psychology of how the colors of a sunset Yeah, for sure. make you happy. All right, that one is number 19. And here is 20. These two just belong together. They do. Both the name Hot, and the colors. Yeah. This is number 20. Hot chocolate and toasted marshmallow. Uh, <laughs> what a treat. So again, the, the pops and then this lovely chocolatey brown. It's a beautiful combo. Oh, that guy. Also, there's the same one somewhere. Let's get into it. Is it? No, this is Ruby German. Is it the brioche? Mm -mm. I don't see it. Oh. I, I promise we unpacked your box. I might not have brought these yet. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're going to have to have you come back, actually, because I don't think we're going to be able to just I'll bring, bring them all the samples. samples. Yeah. All right. I'll take that one. This one here is 21, and I know there's some of you out there that just love this. Yes. In the Groove, Lovely Greens, and Isla Morada. Um, again, all the green speckles and blue speckles. It's just, these two are incredible. You can see the pop, so kind of a chartreuse and green where it's broken. Lovely, lovely. All right, and this one, you could wear this one more. Yes, very, very cool. <laughs> this for, one is 22. It's also a good holiday. Yeah. Pomegranate punch and foiled. Um, and I do have these samples. So the, again, picks up the gold, you've got pops of green, just really pretty, and a solid gold. Okay, so now we're in our third box. Let me tell you also our Fluffy Finger Repairs, I didn't tell you this, you might have found that online already. They are $80 for the pairs. Um, and like I said, if, uh, when you buy the pairs during Lucky Yarn Shop Day, you get that free Casapinka pattern that we'll send you the code for. This one will be no surprise to the rest of you guys. This one is right up my alley, and it's shocking that there's still three in here because I did not take them. Yes. <laughs> this in the is woods, 23. In the woods somewhere and Kate's Moss. So again, just lovely, lovely greens, deep, deep greens. And look how pretty that would be in Lana's Itagi shawl pattern. This is one of the $2 patterns we have for local yarn shop day. Yeah. This is a good one. That's Oh, okay. classic one. Yeah, thinking of you, Nyleen, when when we show this one off. If this is oh man, it's really packed in here. Well. Forty-two. You can see. Oh, it's stuck. The sticker. That's oh, what the problem is here. I'll just grab another one. So this is the night is dark, and newsprint. So again, black and white, and then your black, black and white speckled, and then your solid black. And those are colors that we also have singly. Yes. In, in some bases, like you say which base. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. Oh, I really like this one. Yeah. I like you digging that one. Okay. This one is, oh gosh, can I do this? 25. Yes, 25. <laughs> it's easier to see on screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this one. Poolside. Look how pretty that is. It's supposed to be like a, an adult beverage by the pool. Um, and then Teal Love. Super. Um, one of my all-time favorite combos, this guy. Teal Love and then Poolside. And again, that was, what did I say? 25. Ooh. So this is kind of catered women. Yeah, because there, there's really not a good, no. Th that combo I would not wear. So the drop-off, it's a really deep, rich blue. It's so beautiful. And Rosewood Mansion, which has peaches and corals and these pops of blue and just a little bit of, I don't know if you can see, some chartreuse in there. And this, that's 26. Yeah, I, this is one of my favorite Yeah, colors. there's um, got a hat for sure in it. Yes, it's, uh, it's 
it's uh, hanging down oh, there. Yeah. Okay. So those are the fluffy fingering bases. And the next sets we're going to show you are the silk, the squish silk. So here's the rose we mentioned it up. You can see all the pops. All right. Here is 27. So the squish silk, let me tell you about the yardage on those. I'll let you hold those. Is um, 437 yards, 75% merino, 25% silk. That's a nice amount of silk. It smells yeah, really good. It's a lot of silk. It's really soft. It's very squishy. Um, so this is pomegranate punch, which again we saw in the, the fluffy fingering, which is one of my all-time favorites, and amethyst mist. So it just really pulls in these purpley colors from pomegranate punch. It makes a great pair. All right, that's 27. Here's 28. This is a good neutral um, combo. Charcoal. Without being, yeah, without being too boring. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't fun. want to say it that yeah. way, but yeah. So charcoal, <laughs> which is um, yeah, stunning knit up. And then Aragog, again, that um, spider from Lord of the Rings with, again, the pops of orange and greens and blues. It's a great combo. Yeah, and this silk, it just catches the light. It's really pretty. It's so pretty. And this sage, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, this one I also wanted to hoard for myself, but I have let you guys have it. First, 29. 29. Another one of my favorites, Grassroots, which is technically it's a local community, and Breezo. So it <laughs> pulls in the greens and see all these speckles. Man, I'm the sucker for a speckle. I love some but speckles. But you do suspect that what you, your range is amazing Thanks. between the speckles and then the solids. Mm -hmm. Like you've got a new solid. Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, yeah, I try to bring some new stuff. Yeah. This go around. Yeah. Because again, five years apparently. Yeah. <laughs> 30. This bag is 30. And again, this is a, a good Casapinka combo. Um, Riot Kitty, which is again that brighter pink. Um, and Care Bear Stare. So your pinks and your purples, your goldens. Can you see the speckles? Yeah. And don't yeah. look at my, my, my dyed thumbs. No, I want you to actually show your thumbs. No! Cause it, no! Because it, look, I mean, this is a hard time woman. Every time I go in public, I'm like, I promise, I'm not a different. <laughs> I, I dye yarn. And they're like, you do what? Yeah. <laughs> People do that? Okay, so here's a good example of how you do a solid that isn't a complete solid. Yeah, it's tonal. interesting. Yeah. yeah. I really like to yeah. add layers and depth. Yeah. Um, to the, and I also just do plain old solids too. That's 31. 31. I'm ready to show you. Pearl Jam, which I believe is only available in um, these kits with the greens, which is why I paired it. It's a little bit of yeah. green in yeah. there with the greens. Um, with In the Groove, which I don't know if you can see the, the tonality. It's got it's just so much movement. It's really putting it up. All right. That's 31. We're getting towards the end. Here's 32 more subtle pairs. So yes. I love the difference between, I mean, just look at the range of this woman here between these and then that. I dye what I want to know. <laughs> Do you have time to knit? Not recently. Yeah, well, yeah, because <laughs> because we knew this was coming. <laughs> um, Lovebird and Newsprint. And I do have, I can show you a sample of it's got Lovebird, Newsprint, um, Charcoal. It's all of the, the tonals. N A, surprise, surprise, Leslie. Anne Robinson, Pierre's pattern. <laughs> Alright, that's 32. Yeah, and Melissa, I think you just need that one little small. I got it. Ooh. So this is Breakfast at Elaine's for everyone who knows our local oh. friend <laughs> Elaine. She requested this. And poolside, again, the lovely uh, Adult yeah, inspired, yeah. So these two are just stunning, super pretty, really pretty together. All right, and we've just got three more of these to show you, and then we can talk about other types of yarns that we've got going on here. This is 34, and again, these are in the silk base. Your sweets, which is a candy inspired speckle and postcode envy. Um, which is a lyric from the song. But you can see the purple specks, the, the pinks, um, and then this lovely solid. This is not one of the totals. This is a semi-solid. 
purple. Oh, and okay, so speaking of that, oh, all right, so that's 34. Mm -hmm. I'll take those. Is, so this one here is also a, a solid. solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in the group, if you remember the greens, it was 35. So the drop off in Silencio Bruno, which are both water inspired, very deep, dark blue, and then Silencio Bruno has these lovely dark pops of blue and the green. It's just stunning, it's really pretty. And this is named from a Disney cartoon. Both of them are technically. <laughs> so that's 35, and the last bag we have to show you is 36. And yes, these are um, uh, fingering yarns here. Oh, fingering. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is like one of my all-time favorites. This is the, the cow I showed you earlier that I, will, I haven't forgotten. I'll get you the name. So California <laughs> Poppy, which is a tonal. So it's got all the different shades of gold and um, poppy colors. And then Crazy in Love, which is the softer pink and gold combo. Um, again, my all-time favorite. This is just such a fun thing to knit. It's so entertaining as you go. Those are our local yarn shop pairs that we've traditionally done with Alicia now. This is our fifth time doing it. And those are the ones that go with, put that back in there. Um, you can use any two skein project or separate them and do two shawls. Mm -hmm. But those were specifically for the Casapinka pattern, which you'll get free. Um, and we'll send you the codes at the end of the day. And, but if you wanted to do something different, we also like to highlight these uh, black designers. This is um, Alana Joyce, it, the Itagi shawl. It's two dollars for you when we're paying the rest of the fee for her. Or this crochet one, because we want to make sure you guys, um, and this one is um, Tian uh, Conahan, Conahan, and it is the Orchid uh, Path shawl, and it's just really beautiful crocheted up. And that some of these silks, that would be really pretty. It's this so soft. Do you soft. crochet too? I do. Yeah. yeah. So I actually started crochet, which is why I knit Continental now, um, which I didn't know until somebody told me. And I didn't know what they were saying. Yeah. But I also wanted to share that with uh, every purchase, you can, as long as these last, get a free sticker. So we've got a yarn snob, my uh, logo, and then my birthday hologram. It's, yes. Because April 30th is my personal birthday, and it's also Knitwise Fibers' birthday. That's when it launched, and I made my very first sale. Seven years ago. Oh, on April you've been doing it seven years. Seven years. Wow. Ago. And then you have other stickers, correct? That um, we'll randomly choose for you. And yes. if you buy more than fifty dollars of Knitwise yarns while these last, we'll throw in yes. some of these other stickers. So being a also. designer has its perks. Yeah. <laughs> so I get. So I've got all you knit is love. And then this. Look at this. This is my favorite. It's a knits a lot. Isn't that cute? Ah! It's a little axolotl. <laughs> it's a little. Um, and there's some others in here as well. I got a yarn snob, um, you know, the classics. All right, let's talk about some of the other yarns, but before we do, can we talk about your dye book? Yes. So we had been literally going down maybe twice a week for the last few weeks gathering the yarns. Let me so see. So they got a tour. Yeah. So let me see if I can studio. spin it around. You can see all of that behind Alicia there and it's double-sided, and then we're gonna come around here, and I'm just gonna flip you all the way around, and so there you go. So that's what we have in the store and online, and when we stopped at Alicia, Melissa and I were gone last week, when we came home, we stopped at Alicia's on the way back from the airport to pick up another, and we got to see inside. Usually yes. I just pick up outside her garage because she's at work, and um, I got to see inside, and Melissa got to see the dye book. So I said, fancy. can you bring the dye book? Yeah, so technically my recipes start here. I'll take notes, um, and as I'm dying, you'll see a sneak peek of what I do. And once I decide this recipe works, I like it, it doesn't scale, so I'll I can yeah. start with the mini, and then I'll scale it up um, and make my minor adjustments. And then once I'm happy with that, it goes officially into the dye book, which I don't know if you see on my tabs. This is how I keep track of what I want to dye, and then once it's dyed, I put the tab over here. So I have them arranged by tonals and then um, solids in the back. And so this means you want to dye it. Correct. This is something that I you haven't done it yet. Correct. And then once it's dyed, I'll move the post with a little sticker to the side. 
So, and then sometimes I'll just go through and die what my heart. So does it? So I me. see, I see, like, like real recipes, like you know, half of this and a quarter of that. Is it also like how long are they? The timing so, is that part of it, or the heat? No. Well, the way that I dye all of my skeins, with exception to the solids, is hot. The water, the water is hot. Okay. You have to have the hot water with acid in, and then you add the um, yarn, and you know it's done when there is no more dye left in the water, which okay. is part of what makes because um, it's all correct. Which is part of what makes this dyeing process low impact. Um, so that's another thing that I try to work into you know, what I do to keep things as environmentally friendly, not only for the environment, but also me yeah. personally. Yeah. So, um, yeah, once the dye is exhausted, is what it's called, you know, it's done. Uh, and the heat is what sets it and makes it permanent. So yeah, I have lots of little notes in here about measurements, and the measurements are really tiny, so I use something called a gray spoon, and they go down as, as tiny as a 64 of a teaspoon. Even four, and how many do you dye at a time? Four? I do three now three. because okay. four, one would always be a little skimpy, so I wanted everybody okay. to get enough. Okay, time and hence that's why those are in threes. So, yeah. so now they're in threes, and I'll leave myself notes about, oh, this is, this powder is hard to mix. Like, take, you know, take a little extra time. And I just upgraded to a, the chemist, the spinning spin, the magnetic spinning to help mix the dyes. Um, <laughs> so I can ensure that it, it's, it, makes the great product for you guys. Isn't that interesting? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's really it's a lot of fun. The whole process I really enjoy. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about these guys too. These are uh, very limited edition because they only have wheels. Well I, yeah some most of it we'll see. <laughs> um, not our chairs though. So um, Jenny made us small project bags. And Alicia, this over, I was overcome by the attention when I uh, unpacked these yesterday. So this is the olive uh, colorway, and then Alicia made a sock set yeah, to go with it. It matches. This is <laughs> olive hue. So yeah, super matchy matchy. And so the olive bag. And then this one is Flannery because mm -hmm. it's fuchsia, and you made. These so two variations, yeah. So this is very much. So you have olive hue, very much, to match um, the flannery, and it's a little sock kit. So you can have your heels, toes, and cuff be different colors if you want, or not at all. Or you could do a shawl and put stripes in. Yes. That's what I would do. Yeah. Yes. You do you. That's what. Yeah. The, the advantage of knitting. Uh, this is goat blues, and it's uh, the the. Her, logo colors so the orange the pink and the, the green yeah and it also goes with the um with the bag and then this one is uh Tallulah our original Tallulah and yeah and this is so there's a song by Tori Amos because the word the name is kind of weird um called Tallulah and it's spelled different so in your papoose your little fig Newton so these are matchy matchy and the names are from the, the song lyrics so i didn't i'm not such a weirdo but yeah so the pops of colors from the the, the orange yeah. and the yarn and the goats sweater. and the uh patty asked the sock sets will be up on the website um in a couple hours and they are in the store right, right now and this is a different base it's twisted fingering oh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah so it's uh 85 superwash merino 15 nylon and uh 393 yards for the big guy and 79 each for the minis and it's it's it just knits up it's, all right let's talk about the local yarn shop day color because we have that in a couple different bases and so i love alicia will come in months ahead of time what do you what do you what have you got what what can i match up so the bags were one thing and then this is our, and I know it's backwards, but it won't be backwards when you get it. <laughs> this is our uh, Wanted, Yarned, and Dangerous sticker. And so she... I dyed it up um, as a speckle. And I love it so much. I had to, I was supposed to sew in bits, but I didn't. I mean, I cast on a project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was one sample. Mike helped me hang them up. I said, why didn't you hang this one up? And he goes, it's falling apart. I'm like, oh, no, no. The, no, it's not. Okay. It, the ends just have to be woven in. But the in bits. his mind, he thought, I hate, I hate doing he the thought it was falling apart. Yeah, so it's got all the colors from that sticker. Yarned and dangerous. And again, it's just, it knits up like fun fetting. It's so much fun. 
I'm making wildflower. I think it's a, a tea, wildflower tea. Okay, I'm just bringing over some random ones because I want to talk about the specifics yarns. This is the Georgia Skyline, which is a uh, brighter variation of this one. It is. And this is, talk about that base because so, I cannot wait to knit with that. Squish silk lace. It's 75% merino, 25% mulberry silk. 50 grams, 875 yards. It's like a cloud. It's, I just love this. And I knit, let me see. Is that one skein? It's, it's less than that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I knit, this is Paulina, I believe is what this is called. And yes. we do have this pattern linked onto that. And, um, and I have tons left. I have like half a skein left. Wow. Uh, so I also like to hold it double and make a fingering if you because it's like it's still a whole skein of fingering You can hold it double um, And it's so soft and it's, it's just, just a lot. Yeah, yeah. I can't and wait. I actually so I don't wear my knits for some reason, but I wore this now. <laughs> I wore this. And I also think this shawl that Melissa found here, this orange ruffy wrap would be beautiful. And just one skein will do this lovely wrap. Or you can use two skeins of fingering. Oh, I forgot this. Is it Cecilia, I think? Yes. And the lace is stunning. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's, uh, it looks really pretty see. on the camera. It does it? Is yeah. it showing up well? Yeah. I was going to turn it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, so pretty. Oh, yeah. Cecilia. Yes. Cecilia Solo. So we have lots of colors of the lace. Another yarn that um, Alicia has that's unique is the tweed, and I finished my gambit sweater. Alicia actually dyed this color for me, but you two can also get it, um, called After Wild, because it was, just like some of you, it was the color that was in the picture of the pattern. It's like, <laughs> I wanna make that. Um, and so I brought some of the tweed over. It would also be really pretty in the bi-coastal. Yeah, it's a new color, bi-coastal. My husband works on uh, in California, and I'm also in Florida, so we're a bi-coastal family. And then, let's see, what else can we reach right behind you here, maybe get a DK. Let's get a DK and a squish silk on the other side, okay. and we'll show those. And then I think we'll make sure we get all the links up for you, and we need to open up the store for the lovely people who are okay. outside. <laughs> so here's Jolly oh. and... Oh, here we go. So this is a new color. Really beautifully solid. But you say it's not, it's actually not because it's in the Holly Jolly. It's new, but it's, yeah. it's new singly. It's part of the Holly Jolly, um, which is the Christmas red and green. So I, I figured I needed a red, so we put, I put Jolly out. And, and you could use one skein and make this. Mm -hmm. lot, we have lots of other one skein projects up there too and this is a brand new color yes resting beach face <laughs> I know that's backwards when you see it but isn't that fun that it's is a beautiful blue. color and then uh and DK oh. I've got here's bee pollen which you know a lovely yellow with some gold speckles and you know again poolside we've got lots of different colors but these two so poolside really cool. this is a one skein this crescent city is one skein of DK you use a big needle makes it go far and that would sorry that would be really it pretty would. In there you can use a highly variegated yarn in this pattern and it'll hold up to it and uh, that yellow yeah it's just beautiful I love it I'm trying to remember what I did with this yes the patterns for my scarves are in the same group I think they're on the third page of the local yarn shop day but if you just put in um, it sounds so um, immodest to say but if you put in cadence and pattern um, they'll show up and I think like all six that's how many I have at the most um, I think that's all the time. Yeah. We, we had a lot to cover and you guys were very patient to be watching with us. Um, we will ask us, continue to ask us questions. We'll look at those. We'll post the answers. We have lots of samples. We're going to have Alicia back in a couple weeks uh, to talk about some even more of these. And I'm just so grateful to you. Oh, and I call you here. my friend. Too, I know. So, yeah, yeah. I got have my own dire so friend. Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, and we're very lucky to have you because if just Alicia and I did this, you know, it wouldn't last for long. We would need you as well. For so sure. thank Absolutely. you. Have a great local yarn shop Saturday. Bye. <laughs>